In this snip, we're going to look at how to compare two text lists of virtual machines with PowerShell. So the scenario here is the boss has given you two lists of virtual machines extracted from two different systems, and he wants to compare the two. So we've got two lists here, which are in a bit of a state. Got lots of trailing and leading spaces with higher case and lower case. So it makes it difficult to compare the two. So if we go to our code. First thing we need to do is get the two lists. So if we get the content of list one, we'll see that it comes in exactly as per the list. But we want to remove the spaces at the beginning and the end. So we use the trim function here in order to get a better list. It's a bit more, a bit more tidy. We also want to remove all the uppercase characters and push everything to lowercase so that we can compare the two. So if we run the whole line here, we'll see everything's in lowercase with all the trailing and leading spaces have been trimmed. And we do the same thing for the second list as well. So if we run those two. Now we should see we've got list one which is a nice tidy list, and list 2, which is also a nice tidy list. So what we need to do next is combine those two lists into a variable called full list. So we just use the plus symbol here to add those two lists together. So if we run that and we look at the full list, we'll see we've got a full list of all the virtual machines, but there's actually quite a lot of duplicates here. So we need to select only the unique items in this list. So we do that with the select unique switch. Now if we run that and look at the full list, we'll see we've only got the unique items all in lowercase with all the trailing spaces removed, etc. So on line seven here, we just create an array for the report, which is going to be the output at the end. We run that. And then we go into our for each loop where it takes all of the items from that full list and it uses the contains function here to see whether list one contains the first item and then sets this exists in list equals true if it does. And the else part of the if is if it doesn't exist. So it runs through that for the first list and the second list, and at the end of the for each loop here, create a new PS object and output all of those items into that object and add it to the report array. So if we run all this, we should now have a variable called a report with all of the objects in order to output this report, we use the select command to order the columns a little bit better. Now we have the item on the left with list one and list two. And finally, we use export CSV to export to a reports.csv. Now, if we look in our directory where the script is, we have a reports.csv with a list of all the items and whether they exist in the first list and the second list. And that's been how to compare a text list of VMs with PowerShell.